This is a demonstration of a pump package that is being uh, controlled by a monitoring product called Control by Web. And so this is a little demonstration on what the capability of a Control by Web device can do. This is a high pressure pump package that has uh, some controls in it. And there are the controls. We've got power supply. We've got the control by web uh, controller, uh, relay switches, and um, circuit breakers. Now, I do keep this covered because I don't want it to get wet by its, if something happens. But that's the controls. But over here we have a, um, a um, bridge or an access point, but it's actually a wireless bridge. And this wireless bridge goes back to a, um, a cellular modem by Verizon, and the cellular modem is a cradle point. So this wireless bridge is going back to another wireless bridge, which is in my office. I'm in my shop right now. And then that wireless bridge, uh, or that uh, cellular modem, is out on the internet, where this iPad here is actually uh, connected to my shop uh, Comcast network. So what I'm doing here is actually going from my Comcast wireless, my wireless uh, shop uh, router, into Comcast, out into the internet, back it, back into the cellular cradle point modem, which is Wi-Fi back to this guy to control this pump. So we're actually going out on the internet, uh, coming back through a cellular modem, back into this control panel. And it is functioning right now. If we were to hit this uh, right here, we've got pump package one, pump package two, just to give you an idea. Right now we're on pump package one. If I, if I actually Oh, come on, hit that. Um, it's going to bring up the, the pump package control panel, or the, the pump package um, uh, controller, the control by web controller. Takes a little while because we are going out over the internet, coming back through the internet, and coming in back into this, this bridge here, and uh, back to this, this, this display. So we're actually going out here going out here, out to the internet, coming back to this display. Should come up, here it comes. So, uh, this is control of this product over the internet. And uh, there's a lot of different setups you can do with that controller. If we go right to the control page that views what we've set this controller up to do, we can turn on and start and stop this pump again wirelessly through the internet. So right now you can see that uh, it's off if I push this on button here. Got to hit it right. There it comes on. And you can see that the uh, pump pressure is up to 450 PSI. And actually I got a little pressure gauge here uh, that's coming into it. And that's what it's saying, 447 PSI off of this uh, pressure transducer right here. So again, going out into the internet, coming back to my iPad. Um, and then we can shut it back off again. Oh, let's, let's show the knob over here real quick. Here's the, the mist, I think you can see it. Don't want to get it too close. So that's the nozzle uh, spraying mist. We'll shut shut it off and the other thing that's it nice about um, um, the control by web come on there it goes I don't know why that says usually it's uh, works pretty good but that one's a little slow now <coughs> We'll let it come back up here. But the nice thing about control by web, the one that I'm using here, the X320, is that it has events. And through events you can do a lot of elaborate a lot of elaborate 
starting and stopping. So if we take a look at events here, at passwords, events, we can have uh, set up a lot of different events. Here's 49 different events. We have one set up here, and it's the sump pipes. It's a cycle of the pump on and off. If I take a look at that event, <clears throat> right now we're set to run the pump uh, for 6.5 seconds on a pulse every 1800 seconds. Well, let's change this down to, uh, no, it's not the one. Let's change that to 30 seconds. Yeah. I'm looking at this upside down. And we'll update that. Done. Now, if everything's set up right, this uh, unit should run every 30 seconds. It'll come on and it'll come off uh, for 6.5 seconds. There it is right there. So it'll run for 6.5 seconds, shut back off. Uh, now, it, it isn't um, off for 30 seconds. It's off between the distance or between the time of 6.5 and 30. So it is off for 30, uh, 23.5 seconds. And there it comes on again. So nice thing that you can do uh, a bunch of event cycling. You can even use these uh, events to actually reinitiate different events so you can change the timing automatically. So. That's a quick overview of this particular pump package and how it works wirelessly. Um, this pump is designed uh, for uh, a quarter gallon a minute at, uh, at 500 PSI. It's actually just a little bit under that. So it'll do 15, 20 medium sized nozzles. Uh, but it is set up, uh, this pump is actually set up to uh, feed it uh, through a gravity feed. Right now we don't have a gravity system. We actually have city water coming into it. But uh, this line here with this valve is that's actually supposed to go down into the supply line. So when it does shut off, um, the high pressure liquid that, that's still in the line will kind of quickly back feed into the reservoir where you won't lose any res any uh, any fluid uh, in the uh, gravity feed system so that's it, it utilizes uh, you know one solenoid for the dump valve and uh, and it does have a pressure sensor to make sure it's working has the uh, pressure regulator here that sets it for the uh, the pressure of 100 and uh, or 450 psi, and um, that's all I'm going to show you for now. Thank you very much.